Welcome to another tutorial with websites for beginners. I am JP and we'll be looking at the advanced map widget from Crocoblock in the Jet Elements add-on for Elementor. A uh, point of criticism again is that I'm not entirely sure why they call it an advanced map widget. I think it does more or less what a map widget should do. Advanced, I would have expected maybe the possibility to add pictures, you know, places and a photo, something like that. It's maybe something they can consider for the future to really make it advanced. But let's have a look at that. If you go to the Elementor editor and you scroll down, you go through all these widgets and finally you find Jet Elements and then you will see the advanced map widget here. I would highly recommend you begin searching for this up here. It's just going to speed up your workflow advanced and I stop there and I can just click and drag the advanced map in here. The default is going to be this one called London I, London United Kingdom and I'm going to just switch it to something I am more familiar with which is Pretoria, South Africa and you will see that this will immediately center the map on this region. The map is a tad too small for me at this moment. So the first thing I want to do is I want to stretch the section by right click and then edit section. And then over here, where am I now? I'm going to say content width is full width. You see that little white space all around. That's a gap over here. Columns gap. I'm going to put that on no gap. I still feel that the map is a little too small. I want it a little bit higher. Make the height increase that and that I'm clicking on the map and then I'm going to go to map style map height make that 450 pixels give me a larger map it's up to you it depends also on your website what you want to do with that now the pin is that little red arrow thingy that you saw at the beginning I want to move it now to a specific place somewhere in Pretoria and you go to pins here and then you have to change it over here. And I'll start with the Pretoria Zoo, which is, you guessed it, in Pretoria. And I'm just curious if it's going to find it without me typing in South Africa. Yes, it's finding it. Pin description. Uh, you can say something like ice cream day at the zoo, whatever that means or whatever they do with ice cream day at the zoo. And then you will see it will appear in the pin description over here. I prefer that thing being hidden. So when I click on it, it will come out. And the feature for that is over here, initial state, make it hidden. Especially if you're going to be adding more pins, then I would recommend you hide it. So let's add another pin, another place that we are going to go to, which is going to be the union buildings, the parliament. It's also in Pretoria. South Africa, I don't really have to say that. Usually Google does an okay job of finding that. And then we can say ice cream for all the politicians. Yes. And then I'm going to also make this one hidden. Now let's just duplicate the next one. Duplicate. And then we're going to go for this one to the Fuer Trekker Monument. For Trekker Monument, Pretoria. And then we're going to say here, get some more ice cream. Of course, that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't mean you can't get it. And again, because I duplicated it from the top one, my initial state for my description will be unhidden. What else can we change here? We can go to the map style and there's quite a few styles that you can choose from. I like this one called Subtle Grayscale. Then you can also go into ultralight, which is a little bit ultralight. Oh, ultralight, not violet light. What was I thinking? I like ultralight as well. And this one is WI, very empty. Shades of gray, quite dark. So you've got your gray scales down here. And then you can choose others like paper and go through them. They just give you different options of what you can do with it. Right, you get a very good idea of what's going on here. Very important, Nigel and Peter, is that before you can use this widget, you need to set your Google API. And I have to admit, I messed it up, and it was between me and Crocoblock two days 
of customer support and then me figuring it out. It was my API key and not anything from their side. So I am thinking of doing a short video on that, but I'm pretty sure most of you have figured out the Google API key. But I think just in case, I will do a video on that because in the past, it was very easy to get the Google API key. Now Google has had and added a few steps. And within those steps, I didn't check one box and that messed up the whole thing. So remember, before you can use this widget, you need to get a Google API key. And even though Google is going to be asking you for your credit card or a billing account, it gives you 300 US dollars for free. Uh, yes, only in credit for your Google API key, not real cash. I, I did ask them if they could pay it out and I didn't get any reply yet. Maybe they're still processing my PayPal order. I don't know. Enough of all that mumbo jumbo. I hope this video was instructive and that you had an idea and got an idea of how to use this widget from Crocoblock Jet Elements. Please follow the links below if you are interested in obtaining this. Those are affiliate links and they will add a little something to me for the effort, but you will not be paying one cent more.